What if I told you that SpongeBob SquarePants, one of the most beloved cartoons of all time, is secretly built around the seven deadly sins? In the last few days, while researching this topic, I realized that this theory is more apparent than it seems. Until the end, trust me, you'll never look at SpongeBob the same way again. Greed. Greed is defined as an intense and selfish desire for something, especially wealth, power, or food. Mr. Krabs is the obvious choice for greed. His obsession with money defines his entire character. He'll do anything to make a buck, from overworking his employees to cutting corners in his business. His greed knows no bounds, and it often leads to trouble for everyone in Bikini Bottom. Next on the list is Sloth. Sloth is reluctance to work or make an effort physical or spiritual. Laziness. Patrick Starr is sloth personified. I mean, he spends his days under a rock literally and figuratively, doing nothing but sleeping, eating, and occasionally joining SpongeBob in some silly antics. Patrick's laziness and lack of ambition make him the perfect embodiment of sloth. He can win an award for doing absolutely nothing. Lust. Lust is evident a strong craving or desire, especially for sex or material things. Lust might not be what you first think of with SpongeBob, but in his case, lust is about his intense desire for validation and approval. SpongeBob's endless need to please others, whether it's Mr. Krabs, Sandy, or even Squidward, drives much of his behavior. His lust for acceptance and love is what often puts him in ridiculous situations. This is the reason why he tries to get along with Squidward. His lust make him want to get everyone appreciation. Wrath. Wrath is extreme and uncontrolled anger, rage, or indignation. Squidward tentacles is filled with wrath. His frustration and anger towards SpongeBob, Patrick, and the world around him are constant themes throughout the show. Squidward's bitterness and frequent outbursts of rage make him a textbook example of wrath simmering just beneath the surface. Squidward is a stubborn and ambitious person. That's why, when he could not achieve his goals, he get wrath. Envy. Envy is defined as a feeling of discontented or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possessions, qualities, or luck. Plankton is driven by envy. He's envious of Mr. Crab's success with the Krusty Krab, particularly the Krabby Patty secret formula. This envy fuels his relentless schemes to steal the formula and outdo Mr. Krabs, despite his constant failures. He thinks that Mr. Krabs, he didn't work and deserve the success he has, and Plankton should get what is truly his. Gluttony is excessive ongoing consumption of food or drink. Gary, SpongeBob's pet snail, might seem like an innocent character, but he's the embodiment of gluttony. Gary is constantly hungry, always meowing for more food, and his gluttonous appetite is a running gag in the series. He represents the never-ending desire for more, more, more. Patrick is also a candidate for gluttony reincarnation and also Gary for sloth, but I think this is the better choice. Pride. Pride is a feeling of deep pleasure or satisfaction derived from one's own achievements. Sandy Cheeks represents pride. She takes immense pride in her Texan heritage, her intelligence, and her athletic abilities. Sandy's pride often drives her to prove herself, whether it's through dangerous stunts, scientific experiments, or her relentless need to show she's the best at everything she does. She believes that land animals are superior to aquatic ones. Do you agree with these connections, or do you think there's another layer we've missed? Don't forget that almost every cartoon has seven deadly sins. So if you want a video about other cartoons, write in the comments.